Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com and we're going to take a quick comparison between OneNote Mobile on Windows Phone 7 and OneNote Mobile on Apple's iOS. So let's check them out. First off, let's look at iOS. So here's OneNote Mobile for the iPhone, iPad, iPod, whatever and once you log in with your live ID it's going to download all of the OneNote notebooks that you synced with SkyDrive already so they show up right here really nicely you got recently viewed ones unfiled ones are right there and you got you know really nice structure here uh, down here you always have the quick note button you got a camera button so pretty good here and you can easily drill down and find some different notes and sometimes they get different colors so that's pretty cool you can't rearrange any of these and deleting them is kind of tricky you just gotta, you gotta slide it so I can create a note You gotta do a slide to show the delete button. Now, on Windows Phone 7, OneNote is really integrated into the Office Hub. So let's just go back for a second. There's our Office Hub. We get to OneNote. Now, you would think that since Windows Phone 7 has a live ID associated with the whole operating system, everything would just show up right away and you get all your notebooks from SkyDrive, they just come down, but that doesn't happen. You get two default notes and then you have to set up syncing manually. And to do that, it's pretty much the same as how you do it on the desktop OneNote. You gotta go to SkyDrive in the web browser, you gotta browse to your notebooks, and then gotta tap on it, and then you gotta tap on it again once it loads so you have to do this for each notebook that you've already set up on SkyDrive so once I tap it again now it's going to say opening notebook and that's going to download it and set up a sync so now they're all in here now you can notice where are we some of them do not sync correctly, like this one is passwords. This one is password protected in OneNote on the desktop. It's not going to be able to sync to Windows Phone 7. See, it says that right there, and it's going to tell you that's not going to happen. Okay. Now you can also, OneNote has some really cool integration here. We can. I can pin it. So I can put notes that I'm using frequently or recently right there on the start screen, which is really handy. I don't have to go in there and browse and find it. So there you go. Um, next, let's look at how notes appear after they've been synced. But first, let's see how it looks in real one note. So here's my test note. And I have some embedded documents there. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. There's a Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, PDF. There I have a little table. Here's uh, check boxes. Do this, do this too. We have a numbered list, bulleted list, hyperlinks, there's some handwriting recognition. Here's a video. Video attachment recorded in OneNote 2010. There's an audio one. There's a screen clipping, just a picture, regular. And there's an equation and some shape drawings. So let's see how that appears on which one? Windows Phone, okay. So if I open that one, 
Here we see the title, we see some broken picture boxes. Here's the embedded documents and these I can, if I can tap it correctly, open. So there's a Word document and uh, all those will open. Here's a table. You can see that came in just fine. These are check boxes but they don't show up. I don't have check boxes on Windows Phone 7, numbered lists, bulleted lists, those look good. Hyperlink to another OneNote page does not work. Hyperlink to a website does work. So there it goes, web page. And this is some ink handwriting. Doesn't appear, can't read that. Here's our video recording note. If I tap it just right, we can open it. And that plays just fine. Same with the audio note. I can open those. And it's going to play. Screen clipping works good. Where do we go? You can zoom to read it. But it's uh, kind of low resolution compared to what it is really. And here's an equation which is broken and shape drawings are not there. In terms of editing, what you can do here, you can type stuff. You can insert an audio recording or picture. We can do lists. That's a numeric list. I can also do bulleted list. And we can do some formatting. Just a little bit. Bold, italic, highlight. Inserting the picture. It's just a matter of doing this. And so it's in there. Now let's look at iOS for the same note. Here's my same note, it's called test. So here you see there's the title. These are embedded documents, none of them work. It just says embedded file. This is a table. That doesn't work either, it just says table. So I lost that data right there. These are checkboxes. We do have checkboxes in iOS. This numbered list doesn't work. Bulleted list does work. Hyperlinks are a mess. These you can't click on them. They're they just show up as URLs. We got weird boxes there. Ink handwriting just shows up as the word ink. Here's my video recording, again, nothing. Just says embedded file, audio recording, same thing. Screen clipping does show. We got pictures. Equations and shape drawings do not show. Now in terms of editing, we can type stuff. We can insert check boxes. We can do bulleted lists. And we can insert a picture. So that's about it for editing, and those are the differences between iOS with OneNote Mobile and Windows Phone 7's OneNote Mobile. Pretty different, but there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment about these differences and decide which one's better. <laughs> and that's it for now.